Today we'll be exploring VW reports. Let's get started. Click on the campaigns on the left side of your VW dashboard. I'll be going through the sample report of one of our actual campaigns where we tested whether social proof works better than a generic headline to increase signups and paid upgrades. The first screen of VW reports is a summary of your campaign's performance. Here I can select various goals and see how control and variations are performing. Let's see how the signup goal is performing on control and variation. Variation has led to an 18% drop. Not good. I can look at the revenue timeline of my campaign, number of visitors and other related information. The next pane gives you detailed reports from the perspective of goals or variations. Let's start with the variations report. We can compare the control and variation. Social proof has worked better for engagement with a high chance to beat the original. It's slightly better for paid upgrades but chance to beat the control is 50-50 so we need to run this test longer. Social is definitely not working for signups or visits to pricing page with such a low CTV and high difference in conversion rates. Let's check out the goals report. This is a graphical view of how your goals are performing over time. The goals panel on the right side lets you toggle through the various goals in your campaign. Once you select a specific goal, you can customize your graph further. I want to see how the paid upgrades are performing. To filter my data, I'll click on the conversion rate percentage drop down menu and select revenue per visitor. I can see that the variation performed better than my original website for the first three days. However, for the next seven days, our original website has been performing consistently better than the variation and generating more revenue per visitor. In the numerical view, it's clear that social proof has led to 41.5% decline in my revenue per visitor. According to VWO, there's only a 21% chance of this variation being successful. For a winning variation, we expect CTBO to be at least 95%. Now let's check out the heat map and the click map reports. Heat maps lets you visually explore where exactly people are clicking on your web page. And click map lets you track how many visitors are clicking on different links of your web page. Under heat map and click map, I can see the overview of both control and variations. I will open up the heat map and the click map for my variation social proof. The first row at the top lets you customize your report. You can decide the device you want to see your heat map or click map on. You can toggle through various variations and control for your campaign. You can define the URL for which you want to see the heat map for. You can increase or decrease the intensity of the visuals in your heat map report. You can also see the total number of clicks on your entire web page and the number of these clicks that were on links. Let's compare the heat map for control and social proof. Let's check out the control first. Here I can clearly see that there is a lack of engagement with the links on the top of my web page. Let's see the impact of social proof on engagement. I can clearly figure out that the visitors are engaging much more with the top links under the social proof variation. This is a very quick overview of how to interpret your VW reports. I hope this video was helpful to you. Happy testing!